And in another story, parking in Aggieville could look a bit different once the city opens that new parking garage early next year. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in the Little Apple this morning. So, James, what's the city looking to change? David, once this parking garage here at Manhattan and Laramie is complete, the city says they are looking to try a new way of managing parking in Aggieville. Now, starting next year with the opening of this, they will start using a, or the city is looking at using a new license plate recognition software to register and track vehicles. Now, on, st on street parking will go from three hours down to a two hour limit. City leaders say they plan to revisit this again after the city has completely revamped the Aggieville district. With the activity of construction that we're going to be engaged with throughout Aggieville over the next four to five years, um, we didn't want to install a lot of signage and kiosks only to have to remove them. Eventually, the city wants to treat all Aggieville parking, both in the garage and on the street, the same. Now, in the garage, drivers will use an app on their phones to register their vehicles when they arrive. Now, once all that planned construction is finished, uh, city leaders say that same app could be used on on-street parking. Now, coming up in the next half hour, I'll break down what parking in Aggieville could cost you starting next year. Live in Manhattan, covering local news that matters. James Ryan, KSNT News. Certainly a lot happening there, and you're keeping us updated, James. Thank you for that live update. The city's been working with a parking consultant over the past four years, and the city commission is not expected to vote on a final parking plan until that garage opens again early next year.